Hi everyone, it is good to be here with you today. My name is Oshina. I am gonna be sharing some Christian authors that I have not read books from, but they are on my Goodreads TBR or I'm just interested in them. And I can't guarantee that I'll read all of these authors this year, but I'm definitely interested in their books. Um, some of them have new releases coming out this year and other ones I've just heard amazing things about. And so I kind of wanted to make this video just to hear from you guys and see if you've read from any of these authors and if you could promote some of their books to me so that I know what to prioritize. And we'll see how many authors actually make it into the video. There's like, you know, hundreds obviously. So I have like, I don't know, I don't even know how many I saved, but I will show pictures of like the main book that I think of when I see the, the author and you can let me know um, if it's good or not. I'm just gonna get started. So the first author is Robert Whitlow. Um, another thing is, I'm assuming all of these authors are Christian authors, meaning they like write Christian fiction. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I think I'm just assuming like if a Christian publisher publishes it, it'll be a Christian book. Likely it'll be clean, and that's the main thing that I care about. So anyways, um, Robert Whitlow, he writes th thrillers, I think, like political thrillers, or also like law thrillers, I don't know. Anyways, I have an arc of relative justice, and it just like stood out to me. I like the cover for some reason, it just like, I think this follows a Christian lawyer and kind of his struggles uh, with being a Christian and being in law. Um, he tries to like fight for justice, but it's like definitely difficult in this world. So um, I don't know the exact plot, but it does follow um, a Christian lawyer. I just looked that up. I don't know. I, I've seen R Robert Whitlow's books around. I actually own one of them as well, but I, I don't know that I'll read it this year. I don't even know where it is, but anyways, yeah. So, but I do have this arc and it comes out, it comes out in April. So just about a month away. So likely I won't read it in time for it to be released, but um, I think I will read that book this year, so I wanted to share it. Let's just stick with the dudes. So another um, author that I've heard a lot about is Robert Leparulo. Lepar Don't know how to say his last name correctly with the right emphasis, but um, his book called House of Dark Shadows. It, I think it's like a... I think it's a supernatural book, like about the supernatural, you know, from, like from a Christian perspective. And I think a couple of my YouTube friends have read from him before. Um, basically because I was reading The Delusion and then also This Present Darkness, this author and this book was recommended. If you like this, you might like this. So unfortunately my library doesn't have it, so I don't know how I'll ever get my hands on it. I think it's an older book as well, so um, potentially my um, Christian bookstore might have it in their used section. I haven't actually checked that yet, but I, I'm definitely interested. I hope that I can read it someday. I think it's a series as well. Definitely interested in that one. I, re I want to read more books in this kind of genre. Okay, next author is Tom Threadgill, and this is one where I'm not sure if it's, if like there's Christian's or Christianity is outright in the book, but Collision of Lies is a book that I've heard a lot about. I think mainly from Becca's channel, Hixpix Books. Um, I think she read this first book and liked it. I'm interested in it. I think it has to do with a train hit a school bus, I'm pretty sure, and like the aftermath of that, something like that. Um, and then like you follow the families and the children that were involved in that. So. It sounds really intense, but still I think it'll be just a nice kind of action book to follow. I don't actually know if this is a Christian book though, but anyways, there you go. I guess I'm like into suspense these days because Fragments of Fear by Carrie Stewart Parks is a book that I'm definitely interested in and I think it's like, I don't know if it's romantic suspense, but it's definitely suspense. And I also don't know if it's Christian, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so I've seen this author on Chantel's channel a lot from Chantel Reads All Day. She has read a lot of uh, this author's books and I, I don't remember if I watch anyone else who's read from her, maybe Becca as well. But yeah, just heard really good things. Um, maybe similar stories that Terry Blackstock writes. I think they're pretty similar. They just give me the same vibes. Um, and I love Terry Blackstock, so yeah, I definitely want to try this author out, and Fragments of Fear is the book that sounded interesting to me. I don't remember what it's about now, but yeah, so let me know if you've read it. And I have mentioned this author a lot-ish on my channel, but it's Irene Hannon. 
Um, I do own Dangerous Illusions. I might as well show it. Yes. Um, I own this book and so I would really like to read it. Irene Hannon has a lot of books and she writes um, Christian romantic suspense. I know for a fact this is Christian and I just hope that I like it. I don't know what her writing is like. She also writes I think just contemporary romance so maybe that'll be more up my alley if I don't like her suspense but uh, of course this is the one that I own so I want to try this one first. Another author that I hear a lot about is Tosca Lee. Um, Iscariot was very popular I think last year or maybe in 2020 um, because this is kind of like a retelling of Judas Iscariot from the story of Jesus in the Bible and a lot of people loved this book and Tosca Lee has written quite a few different types of books she doesn't just write biblical fiction I think she wrote like that cult book that uh, between the lines or something? I don't remember. But anyways, Iscariot is the only one that I'm actually interested in. You will see, I don't know, like reading about Judas Iscariot would be very interesting. Um, I've never read a book about him before, um, but so many people loved this book. So I am interested for that reason. Okay, another author that kind of like broke out on YouTube, I think because of her Christmas book, but it's Courtney Walsh. Um, Just Look Up is the first book in a series or a duology, I'm not sure how long the series is, but this is Christian romance, I'm pretty sure. And she's just kind of like lumped in those authors like Becky Wade and Nicole Deese, Tamiel Gray, like, you know, the, the really good Christian romance authors. She's recommended within them a lot. And so I definitely want to try her books. I hope I like them, but her Christmas book was such a hit last year. So uh, I hope that I do like it. I didn't read the Christmas book, but a lot of non-Christian booktubers also showed it on their channel. So I was like, oh, that's really cool. Um, so anyways, I would like to read her contemporary book if I can. Okay, the next author is Liz Johnson. Um, I think she has a lot of books, but the book that I'm most interested in interested in is Beyond the Tides because it's actually set on Prince Edward Island um, so I just it always like piques my interest when a book is set in Canada because that's where I'm from um, definitely on the opposite end of Canada but yeah I just I really like the cover of this book as well and um, I'm just curious about Liz Johnson she has a lot of classic books like that I just see in a lot of lists um, but I've never read from her so definitely want to give her a try Another one is Jodi Headland. Um, she has a lot of different, different books and a lot of books coming out in the same year in different series. So hopefully I get to one of them. Her Waters of Time series, I think that's what it's called, but Come Back to Me is the first book. The covers are just gorgeous. So that's like the main reason why I wanna read them. Um, and it's just interesting to me how many books she has coming out. And I don't know, I just think like, man, she's getting a lot of books published. She must be good, you know? So. I, I do want to give her a try. I've heard pretty good things about this series as well. I think it's about time travel, so we'll see. Okay, I'll just mention one last author, and it's actually two authors, so I'm going to read them off because I don't want to get them wrong. It's Alyssa Rote and Hope Bellinger. So their book called Picture Imperfect is the first book in a series, and I think it's a companion series, so you don't have to read them in order. They actually reached out to me, and um, I have their first book and the second one, actually. The second one is coming out this year. So I have not read from them yet, but I do have high hopes that I'll like them. It's Christian Romance, and uh, I really like the cover of this Picture Imperfect book. So um, yeah, I wanted to share that because um, they are traditionally published, but just with a smaller publisher, so I wanted to give them a shout out. and definitely when I read their books I will review it and let you know if it's good or not but those are the authors that I'm going to share um, there are so many more um, but these are just the ones that I wanted to share and I'd love to hear your opinions if you've read them thank you so much for watching this video you guys um, definitely still figuring out how to find filming time with my new job but uh, thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking around my channel I don't plan on going anywhere yeah uh, thank you so much you guys I hope you have a really good day bye there's like, that's why I like it. Uh, it's, I don't know. I like it. There you go.